are going to do a little 45 minute strength training today. Okay, so if you have the cycle bar, like you have a four pound bar and then a six pound bar. So we're going to use those. If you have any light hand weights, three, five pounds, okay, we're going to use that. We're going to use our body and then also towels or paper plates if you're on carpet. Okay, so I'm going to get the music queued up. Alright, just want you to march it out, right left, right left. Big inhale in. Exhale out. One more time. Big inhale. Exhale. Alright, now you're gonna do a little step touch, right left. So reach and pull with your arms. Big arms. Reach. Now cross your body. A little rotation. Stand tall. Four. Three. Two, back up high, back up high, reach, across, back up, back up, across, good, back up, across, now squat down and up, down and up, weight is in your heels, chest is lifted, you should be able to wiggle your toes at the bottom of that squat, we're going to come back to the squat a lot today. All right, listen, reverse lunges, right, left. I'm gonna try to hear you. Make sure you're stepping back far enough so your front knee isn't going past your toe. And you're staggering your stance to help you with balance. Good, now we're gonna use lateral lunges. Side to side. Booty back. Oh yeah, and you need a mat. Did I say that? And anything we do, you guys, you can always drop the weight. Back to reverse lunges, right, left. Two more. Keep that core strong, upper body is lifted. Lateral. Warm up those adductors. Reverse lunge, right, left. Good, now lateral, right, left. Go back to those reverse lunges, right, left. Sink down, get a little bit deeper. Lateral lunges. Now you're going to come in a push-up position. So hands out a little bit wider than your shoulders. Hold it here. Now you're going to go, go down two counts. So down, two, and up. Down. Drop to your knees. Eight singles. Eight. Breathe. Leading with your chest. Nice long spine. You got four. Three. Two. Back into your high plank. I want you to narrow your grip or narrow, narrow your arms. Shift your booty up, downward facing dog. Pedal it out here. Lengthen out your hamstrings, lengthen out your calves. Roll your elbows in. In four, three, two, walk it back to your feet. Squat down and up here. Down and up. Chest up, down. We're gonna add a little pulses, two more singles. Now pulse it down for three. You're gonna add right knee lift on one, little side crunch. Three, two, collarbone up. Three, two, and lift. Three, two, so I go to the B, you guys. If the tempo ever feels too fast, you are welcome to slow it down. Hold that. Left knee up, now lateral raise. So lift and lower. Four more. Four, three, two. You're gonna hold that leg up, hold it here. Now lift, lift, flex your foot. Make sure that standing leg is nice and soft. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Four, three, Two, other side, big lateral lift. Big arms, big circle sweep. Keep that core nice and tight. Good job, you guys. Wake up that side duty. Two more. All right, now hold it, hold it out. And you're gonna lift, lower, lift, lift. Think about your side oblique. Now little pulses. So up, up, flex that foot. Four. Three, bring your knees together, feet together, chair 
squat. Squeeze your inner thighs. Knees together, big toes together. Chest is lifted, spine is nice and long. Two more, we're gonna warm up that upper back. Hold it down in the chair, then you're gonna reach. Make a W with your arms, extend. Pulling your belly button in towards your spine. Squeeze that upper back, four. Relax your shoulders, last two. Oh, hold the W, tap it out. Right, left, right, left, sink down. Now you're gonna add some arms. So you're gonna pull, extend. So you're half tying in the arms, right? Feet are at tempo. Eight more, eight. Exhale, inhale. Pull that navel in and up. Don't let go of that core. Four, good. Three, two. You're gonna balance on your right foot. Hinge forward. Airplane arms, okay, or warrior three arms. Up to you. I want you to roll your shoulders up and down your back. Squeeze your shoulder blades on your back body. Hinge forward more. Rotate that left pinky toe down. Hold it. Breathe. Come on, wake up that booty. That standing leg is challenging, right? Four, three, two. You're going to squat, kick. You're going to alternate right, left. Squat, kick. Squat, kick. Oh, sink down a little bit more. Come on, get those quads warm. Two more. Now you're going to balance on that left leg. Hinge forward. Warrior three or airplane. Roll your pinky fingers in if you're in warrior three. Square your hips to the floor. Hinge forward a little bit more. Hold it. You got eight. Six. Last four. Three. Come center. Squat down up. You're going to add a kick left. Kick right. Yes. Now you're going to add a punch with your kick. Squat, kick. Squat, kick. We're going to grab those weights, you guys. Last four, last four. Give me four. Three. Two. I want you to grab both bars. We're going to do a biceps first. You can always drop a bar. You can grab lighter hand weights. Okay, we're going to start with biceps up and some knee lifts. So full range of motion. Up, two counts. Then go up, two, then down. So get that full range of motion. Knees are soft, chest is up, spine is long. All right, you ready? Tempo, you're gonna add some knee lifts. You're gonna right knee up, then left. Full range, full range. At any point in time, you guys, you can always ditch the arms or ditch the legs. I like to do full body movements. It's hard for me to just isolate the biceps, okay? But you know your body and you know what you can handle. So at any point in time, feel free to take out a move, drop away, whatever, right? Make it your workout. Oh, let's do eight more. Hang on to it. Elbows by your lower ribs. Breathe. Exhale. Inhale. You got four more. Four. Three. Keep those wrists nice and neutral. Two. You're going to hold it 90, hold that left knee up. Hold it here, relax your shoulder blade. Top half of the curl, we're going to kick it out and in. Feel your biceps. Think about relaxing your traps. Other knee up, hold 90, kick it out and in. Flow through with the movement. Try to keep moving this whole 45 minutes, you guys. You got four. Flex up that three. Get that knee up a little higher above your hip line. Full range of motion, biceps, add your knee lifts. Good, exhale, inhale. Exhale on that work, you guys. Four, three, we're gonna do that again. Two, hold whatever knee up, hold it up, then you're gonna kick it out, and in. Stand tall. Control that kick, flex that quad. Oh, biceps are feeling it. Two. Other side, other side. Give me eight. Eight. Good job, good job. Four more, four more. Give me four. Three. Two. Now you're going to squat and then you're going to curl. So squat, curl, press. We're going to add a little press. 
So squat, curl up the bottom, and press. So your feet are out a little bit wider than your hips. Squat, curl up the bottom, drive through your heels. Yes. Squat, curl, lift, breathe. Squat, curl, lift. You guys got two more. Last one here, last one here. We're still doing the biceps. Hold it 90. I want you to hold it here. Little outer thighs, right, left. Breathe. Bottom half of that curl. Go down, then up. Down and lift. Now you're going to move your arm the same time as your leg. Yes. Breathe. Squat, curl, press. Go, squat, curl at the bottom. Overhead press, do it again. Sink your booty down way lower than your shoulders. Drive through your heels. Feel your quads, feel your glutes. Core stay strong, you guys. Four more. Good. Three. Oh, two more, two more. Last one here, last one here. All right, arms come down. You're gonna do outer thigh with that curl. Halfway up. That feels more natural, right? Come on, keep going. Flex that foot. Four more, four more. We're gonna put down one of those bars. Last two. I'm gonna drop my lighter bar. So I'm keeping the six pounder. All right, we're gonna do some reverse curls. Okay, you're gonna do, start with lunges. Then you're gonna do reverse curl. Good. Elbows in. Wrists are straight. Sink down a little bit more into that reverse lunge. You got four, three, two. All right, flip your grip. Keep it flowing. All the way up, all the way down. Yes. You got four more, four more. Give me four. Three. Change is coming. Reverse lunge on your right side. Then you're going to knee lift, press. Reverse lunge, curl, press. Reverse lunge, curl, lift. Yes. Two more here. Give me one more. Now you're gonna hold, hold it here, hold it here, overhead press. You got eight. Breathe. So you're adding a little knee pulse here. Good. Four. Three, use your lower abdominals to get that knee up a little higher. Other side, reverse lunge. Add a little curl. Then you're gonna add a tap. Good job, four more, four, three. I'm changing it from the other side, I just like that you can go to the beat. You're gonna hold it, now press, there we go. Exhale, inhale, get that knee up. Come on, above your hip line. Four, good, three, two, and one. Reverse lunges, right, left. Hold the isolation on your biceps. You're just alternating those reverse lunges. Roll your shoulders up and down your back. Two more. All you're going to do, you've got full range biceps. Go all the way up, all the way down. There you go. No death grips on those bars, you guys. Nice and light on your hands. Two more. Now you're going to pulse it down for three. You're going to pulse the bicep up at the top. Switch on one. Three, two, switch. One more. Now come center. You're gonna squat down and up here. Down and up. Down. Sink down a little bit lower. Come on, you have time. Breathe. Pulse it down for three. You're gonna add an overhead press on one. Pulse it down. Three. So the further the bar is out in front of you, the more core it's gonna be, okay? If you ever feel in your low back, maybe keep it in closer to your body or ditch it all together, right? Breathe. Make sure those knees are tracking over your toes and you're sitting back, weight is in your heels, you guys. You're gonna add to this, you're gonna pulse it down, three, outer thigh on your right. Yes, three. Outer side left. Big exhale at the top. One more. Oh, you're gonna hold it up, hold it here. Lift, 
Lower. Isolation on your shoulders. Exhale. Inhale. A nice big space between your ears and your shoulders. Two. Long neck. Other side. You got eight. That's it. Exhale. Inhale. Good job, you guys. Relax your traps. Last two, last two. All right, I want you to put that foot down. I want you to flip your grip. Triceps, okay? So squeeze your elbows in. Really think about hugging in towards your midline. Cover up your ears. If that ever falls into your low back, you guys, you can go to kickbacks. We are gonna go there, though. Okay, so if your shoulders are okay, I want you to try to stick it out here. This is hard, especially if you have tight shoulders. Two more. All we're gonna do is we're gonna add some outer thighs. So you're gonna go down, then lift. Down, lift. Think about that side glute pulling your leg up. Get that breath going. Nice rhythmic breathing, you guys. Wrist stay neutral. You got eight more. Seven. Six. Breathe. Last four, three, good job you guys, two, and one. You're gonna put that bar behind you. Okay, so this takes out a lot of muscles, right? So roll your shoulders up and down your back, it really isolates your triceps, little triceps. It shortens that range of motion. Really, really intensifies that tricep contraction. Lift. All right, we're gonna get those outer thighs going again. Two, outer thighs lifts up. So lift, lower, lift, flex that butt, control the leg, especially on the way back down. Try to keep that tricep contracted the entire time. So you're not coming all the way back to your booty. Two more. We're gonna change the count. Pulse it out for three. So three, two, switch on one. Do it again, do it again. Three, two, switch on one. Oh, easy. You guys get higher. One more, one more. Good job. You're going to bring that bar to your right hand. Okay, we're going to do some rows and then a single leg press with a hinge. Okay? So single leg does this. So you're going to start here. Okay, you're going to balance, balance. You do this in the warm up. You're going to hinge forward for four, three, and you're going to come up for four, three. You're going to add the overhead press. So four. Three, and you're gonna come up. Four, three, two, and press. Four, and up. Nice and slow and controlled. You guys can always go to the two-legged deadlift. Okay, you're gonna give me one more, and you're gonna hold at the bottom. So hold it here, lengthen up that back leg, flex your foot, toes are pointing towards the floor. Now you're gonna row. So row. You're going to add a little extra glute lift, or that leg can come back down. Exhale, inhale, lift, lower, lift. So your hands come right up towards your hip. You're working your lats, that big muscle in your back. The challenging part here is the balancing, right? You got eight more. Seven. Last more, last more, you got it, four, three, stay with me, two, oh, you're gonna bring that bar over your head and drop it, down, and lift, down. We're gonna add a little calf every time, so you're gonna go down, then raise, down, then raise. Come on, squeeze in towards your ears. Come up onto your, the balls of your feet. Good job, you got four, three, two, two pounds down. Go down, two, then up, lift, down. You can get a little bit deeper in your triceps to slower the tempo, down, down. Knit those front ribs in. Really keep hugging towards your center line, you guys. Go down, down, then up, squeeze. Relax your shoulders, soften, soften. Two more. Good job. Last one, last one. Ah! All right, you're gonna put that bar behind you. You're gonna press it out. Out. Okay, so this time we're gonna add some glute lifts, okay? 
So you're going to alternate. You're going to go right, then you're going to go left. So it's not a huge range of motion. It's not a huge movement, right? Especially with your arms. But you can feel your triceps. Tighten up that core. Breathe. Now pull sit back for three. Three, two, switch on one. Three, two, switch on one. Don't let go of that core. Feel it, feel it, you guys. One more. Oh, put that bar into your left hand. I didn't forget about the other side. Okay, one legged or two legged deadlift. Get ready. So you're going to hinge forward. You got four counts. Four. Then come up just as slow. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. Curl to a press. Do it again. Four. Three. Then up, then up. Four. Three. Two. Strong abs. Man, my balance is awesome today. Do it again. For four. Three. Keep those knees soft. And hinge. Ah, hamstrings and glutes, you guys. One more. You're going to hold at the bottom. Hold it here. That chest is parallel to the floor, you guys. Now you're going to row your hand up to your hip. Lift. Lower. Lift. Come on. Think about your glute pulling that leg up. Then that bar with the lats in your back. Eight more. Eight more. Eight. Four. Three. Take it out. All right, one or two bars, you guys. We're going to do a little plie squat here. We're going to do some upright rows, okay? So front of the shoulders. So that bar is going to go right against your legs. So you're going to squeeze your inner thighs. Here you go. You're going to go down, two, then you're going to go up, lift. So elbows are high. Wrists are neutral, right? You're not bending at your wrists. Your knees aren't going past your toes. So you're squeezing your inner thighs on the way up. Breathe. All the way down. All the way up. Try to get your thighs parallel to the floor, right? Feet are out wide enough. Right now, singles. You're going to go down, then up. Down, lift. Down, lift. That bar is right against your body. Two more. Lift your right heel up, down, and lift, down, lift. Collarbone stay lifted. Last four, three, two, other side, other leg, you got eight. Keep those wrists nice and neutral. Give me four more, four, three, Two of changes coming, you guys. Both feet down, you're gonna do a front raise. So widen your grip. Again, squeeze your inner thighs on the way up. Make sure the load isn't going to your low back. Now you're gonna go all the way up. So down, then up. Down. If that's too much, okay, hold. Right there, like where we were before, okay? If you have the range of motion in your shoulders, and you don't feel any pain, I want you to stay with me. You got four, three, two. You're gonna hold it above your head. Hold it here. Relax your shoulders. Sink down. Come to that plie squat. Now lower it down nice and slow. Flip your grip. Underhand grip. About shoulder distance, you're gonna row your belly, extend. Row, extend. Sink down lower in your legs, you guys. Little pulses. Pulse. Pulse. Keep your bar in towards your belly. Four, three, two. Hold it down, then row and extend. I want you to be contracted in your quads. Exhale, inhale. Oh, you got it. Listen, this is shoulders. High curls. So in, extend. Spine is long, you guys. Make sure you don't hit yourself in the forehead. I just did. 
Two more. All right, now you're gonna pulse it, hold it 90. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Lift that right heel up, come on. Elbows are squeezing in, activate your chest. Isolate on your shoulders. Switch, other side, give me eight. Ah, lower, lower, feel the burn. Switch, other side, four, three, two, and switch. Give me doubles, two, and switch. Any point in time, you guys can get out of that shoulder contraction. Four, you're almost there though. Three, two, listen. Full range, you're gonna squat, press. So squat, press, squat. Four, three, so good, two, one, hold it down, pulse, pulse. Drop your arms, roll your shoulders. Hold that bicep contraction. This should feel good. So again, you're gonna hold at the bottom of that plie, and you're gonna go up, two, then down to your belly. Work the front of your shoulder again, down to your belly. Up, up, down to your belly, you got it. Let's do four more like that. So up, up, down to your belly. Two more, up, up. Last one, last one. So good, I want you to put that weight back in your uh, left, right hand, right hand, mirroring. Okay, so we're gonna do two-legged deadlifts, and I want you to feel your hamstrings. So you're just gonna hinge forward, then you're gonna come up. Let's grab that other bar, okay? It needs to be heavier. If you have heavier weights, we're doing two-legged deadlifts, okay? You gotta get back on that beat. When you're ready, hinge forward. Four, three, two, then up and up. Flatten out your spine, you guys. Bend your knees a little bit more. But you're hinging your booty back. You're using your glutes and hamstrings to pull you back up to standing. Make sure when you guys come up, you're not dumping into your low back and pressing your pelvis forward, right? Not good. You just wanna stand tall. And we don't need to do the shoulder shrug at the top. We have tight enough traps as is, right? All right, you're gonna pick this up. You got two pounds. Go down, go down, go down. Two, then up. Two. So if your hamstrings are really tight, feel free to bend your knees a little bit more. So the more your legs are lengthening, the more hamstrings, the more you bend your knees, it's gonna get warm to your booty. But we want to focus a little bit more on your hamstrings here, okay? Our hamstrings tend to be a lot weaker than our quads. One more. You're going to hold at the bottom. Hold it here. Row to your belly. So row. Row. Do you feel anything in your low back, you guys? You can drop the weight. You can come up a little bit out of it. Put your feet together. Row. Squeeze your inner thighs. Exhale, inhale. You got four, three, two. You're gonna balance on your right leg. You're gonna hinge forward. Four, three, two. You're gonna come up for four, three. Add the overhead press. Four, three. Come up, come up. Four, three. Ah, do it again. Work the balance. Stabilize with your abs. Oh, do one more time, you guys. You got four, three, two. Come up, square your hips to the floor. Put it down, other side for four, three, two. Come up, come up. Make sure you're not rocking your hips. Stay nice and strong for your glutes. Do that standing leg. You gotta keep your belly button pulled in and up towards your spine. I know it's a lot to think about here. A lot going on, right? That's why I love compound movements. It makes you think more, so it kind of takes your mind off of it, right? All right, I want you to bring it down to your chest, and you're gonna press, lower, press. Big exhale, big inhale. Slight tuck of the pelvis here, keeping that core strong. 
You're going to alternate knee lifts. So you're going to go right knee up, then left knee. Any point in time, you guys, if the weights get too heavy, drop a weight. And again, you can always do this with body weights, with light hand weights. Yes, eight more. You got eight. Think about your lower abs. Last four, last four. Give me four. Three, two, one. Hinge forward, deadlifts. You got four. Three, two, you're gonna come up. You don't have to touch the floor. I want good form, I want your back flat. Elongate your spine, come up. Okay, right leg only, hinge forward, four, three. Come up, come up, four, three, two, other side, four, three. Don't rush it, coming up, four, three, two, both legs. Go down, 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 then up and up. Good job, right leg, go down, then up, get a little bit deeper, now that you got more comfortable, both legs, down, lead with your chest, up, feel your hamstrings, feel your glutes, other leg, left leg, good, come up, oh, stay center, overhead press, down, you know what we're going to do, we're going to add a little squat, okay? Let's do four more, just like this. Exhale, inhale. Last two. All right, little thrusters coming. So you're gonna squat, press. So squat, press. So you're using a little bit of momentum. I want you to explode out of that squat. Exhale to the top, inhale on the way back down. Come on, you got eight more. Heart rate should be going up there. You got four, three, two, hinge forward, both legs, four, then come up, four, right leg, four, let the heart rate drop, come up, get deeper, get deeper in the hamstrings, both legs, down, then come up, four, good job, right leg, the left leg, sorry. Mirroring. Then come up. All right, you got those thrusters. You're going to squat, add that explosive movement. So squat, press, squat, press. Use your core almost like you're dropping your weight to the bottom, right? Ow! Eight more. Come on, you guys. I know you're smiling. Stay with me. Oh! Four more. Four. Three, you got it, two, one, hold up, hold it, drop your shoulders, breathe, hold it, relax your traps, Long, lengthen up your neck, breathe, last four, three, outer thighs, so lift, I want you to flip your grip, keep those outer thighs going, bring your elbows back down to 90, roll out your shoulders, Try to soften your shoulders. Top half of the curl. So top half and hold. Top half, hold. Try to get that leg up a little bit higher. Feel it in your side glute, you guys, that gluteus medius. Bottom half, halfway up, so hold. Hold, hold. So good, give me four more, four. Three, two, oh, full range. Come on, eight, eight, eight. You wanted a little bit more biceps, I know it. You got four, three, two, and one. Drop your heavier bar. Keep your lighter bar. Wow. All right, we're gonna do some overhead presses. Not overhead press, tricep extensions, okay? Again, if that bothers your back or your shoulders or your back, okay, do those kickbacks. But we're gonna do curtsy lunges. You're gonna go right, then left. So those curtsy lunges, you're loading up that front glute. You're bringing that knee all the way down to the floor if you have that range of motion. Down and up. Again, if the tempo is too fast, slow it down. I just 
love going to the beat, you know me. Two more. We're gonna change it. You're gonna pulse it down for three, listen. Out if I am one. Same side. Three, two, lift on one. Yes, three. One more, belly button tight. Switch other side. You got three, two, lift on one. Yes. So a lot of abductors. Okay, a lot of gluteus medius here. I really want you to load up that front leg. Back to single, side to side. Keep the triceps. Don't let those shoulders creep up. Don't let your wrists bend. Keep them nice and neutral. Two more. You guys have one more set like that. Pull, sit down for three. Good job. Three more. Feel the back of your arms, you guys. Burn it out. You're done with triceps. One more. Well, you gotta get the other side, right? Other way. Three, two, lift on one, lift, breathe. Always think about that rhythmic breath. One more, one more. Oh, so good. Put it down. I want you guys to grab your lighter hand weights. Okay, three to five pounds. If you don't have any weights, we're doing reverse flex. You can totally use your body weight. I'm going to breathe. I'm tired today. All right, you guys, squeeze your knees together. See, you're going to start in a chair squat. So down and back. So again, your butt isn't going, or your knees aren't going past your toes, right? You're sitting in the back. Spine is long. Knees are squeezing together. Activate your inner thighs. So we're gonna get a little bit more shoulders and get into that mid-back, upper back. Two more. Now you can bring your hands down by your hips. You're gonna go down, then V. Down, V. You're not swinging, okay? You're controlling that movement. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Pulse it down, pulse it down. For three, two, lift on one. Three. Two, you can do a little kick back there. So I kind of like that I'm not getting the tri you're done with triceps. If you want more, you can flip your palm back, then you can come in that V. There's the V. Three. You have to embrace that uncertainty of the V. I gotta tell myself that, you guys. One more. Now you're gonna stay low, stay low, hinge forward, fly. Breathe. So you're not dropping your head, and you're not arching it up either. You're exhaling every time you squeeze your shoulder blades together. Lengthen out your arms. You want to modify, you bend your elbows a little bit more. You can totally work your upper back with no weight to rise. Two more. Sink down. Now you're going to tap it out. Right, left. So you're going to go right, then left. Right. Good. Left. Squeeze. Nice fluid movements, you guys. Two more. Bring your waist back to heart center. Pulse it. Down. 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 Squeeze. Sink down lower. Make your quads, make your inner thighs burn. Your booty. Come on, you're working a lot of things here. Now squeeze your palms together. Activate your chest. Breathe. Tighten up your abdominals. You got four. Three. Two, you got full range coming up, you guys. So you're gonna do that chair squat and a V raise. Little kick back V raise. So it's almost like a swing motion, but not totally. You're not really using the momentum. I want that to feel like a V raise. Squeeze your inner thighs together. I gotta tell myself that my knees will go apart. Good. Four. Three. Two. Stay low, stay low. Now reverse fly. Fly. Good. Now that you got the hands, we're going to add those feet in four. Three. Two. Don't the love with your low back. Tap it out, tap it out. Right, left. Go right. Left. You got four, three, two, one. Stay 
center. I want you to extend your arms up. Drop them. Pull your navel in and up. Your upper body is more upright here. Now you're going to squeeze. Now press it up. Then squeeze. Press it up. Now tempo. You're going to go down, then up. Down, up, down. Lift. Try not to get all the way out of that chair. Come three quarters of the way up. You're still engaged. Oh, stay center, hinge forward, light up. One more set here, you guys. Exhale, inhale. Four more, four more, four. Two, one, stay low, tap it out. You're gonna go right, left, get lower. Okay, now we're on that beat. Yes, right, left. Elbows high, roll your shoulders back. We're going to do kickbacks on the half feet. So kickback, yes. Kickback, then curl. Kickback, curl. So you're on different tempos with your feet and your arms, right? Just makes you think a little. Now you're going to add rotation. Palms up, palms back, palms up. I got it. Stay low, you guys. Squeeze your belly. Squeeze your inner thighs. Feel your glutes. Four, three, two, one. Put those weights down. Awesome job. All right, we are going to come down. You need sliders or towels or whatever. So you're going to come off the end of your mat. You're going to come to the plank. You're going to put your feet onto your towel, whatever you have available to you. Okay, stack your joints. Shoulders from right above your wrists. Breathe. My need to come back a little bit further. Now slow mountain climbers. So knee in, knee in. After this, you guys, you're done. Lengthen through the crown of your head, nice and long. Now you're gonna do slow, you're gonna go out wide. So you can always do a slow plank jack here. You can tap your feet out if you don't have towels, if you don't have a paper plate. Two more. Breathe with it. Now pike your hips up. You're going to go up, two, then down. Up, two. Feel your quads engaged. Feel your lower abdominals. One more. Back to your slow mountain climber. In. In. Shoulders should begin fatigued. Spread out your fingertips. Widen out your hands. It takes some pressure off your wrists. Now you're going to slide it out to the right, then left. Four more, you guys. Four. Three. Two. Oh, you got four slow pikes. Go, go. Up. Two. And down. Breathe. Up. If you have tight hamstrings, this is challenging. One more. Oh. Child's pose. Stretch it back. You're done with that towel. Breathe. All right, when you come up into downward facing dog, shift your booty up. Slide out your heels. Walk it out. Press your head in between your biceps. Lengthen out your arms. Two more. Now both heels press down. Feel that stretch into your calves, into your hamstrings, maybe your upper glute. And I want you to come forward. You're not quite done. You got push-ups, okay? You're gonna go down two, then up. Down. And up. You can go on your toes, on your knees. Now you got singles. Then down and up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Four more. Give me four. Three. Two. Booty up, downward dog. If this is not much for rest for you, come into child pose. Don't let go of that cord just yet, you guys. Four. Three, I want you to come forward, shift your weight into plank. Narrow your hands. 
Now you're just going to rock forward and back. Forward, back. Forward, back. You got two more. You're going to transition. Side plank. Come on to one side. Doesn't matter what side. You can drop that bottom leg. Level one, level two is where I'm at. Level three, you can flex your foot and lift that leg up. Really think about lifting that bottom hip. And breathe. And smile. Shaky, shaky. Last four. Three. Listen. Two. Come back into high plank. Now come into low plank. Make an 11 with your arms. Hold it here. Lengthen, lengthen through the crown of your head. Don't drop your hips and don't pack them up either. If you're not here, you're not here. Nice and neutral. Press back up, high plank. Hold it. Rock forward and back. Forward, back. Forward, back. Two more. Widen out your hands. Maybe drop your knees. You got eight push-ups. Keep your shoulder blades on your back body. Lead with that chest, not your chin, not your forehead. Four, three, two, high plank. Hold it. Come into side plank on the opposite side. Hold it up. Hips are lifted. Level one, you're dropping your leg, right? Level two, stack them or stagger. Level three, you're lifting that top hip up. Make sure the shoulders are aligned with your wrists. Lift that bottom hip. Reach up towards the ceiling. You got four, three, two, oh! Child's pose. Spread out your knees wide. Drop your glutes to your heels. Big breath in. Exhale out. All right, when you press up onto your hands and feet, downward facing dog. Walk your hands back to your feet, hang out in the forward fold. Interlace your hands behind you. Open up your chest and shoulders. Shake out your head. Now bend your knees a little bit more. Round all the way up. Let's do one big breath in. Exhale, push the leg. You guys are done. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you later.